Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how to make a custom hook using Bloxy's content blocks. Okay, so let's head over to our dashboard and go over our Bloxy tab over here and click on content blocks. Now make sure that you have Bloxy Pro, Bloxy Premium installed, or else you won't be able to access this at all. Now, let's click on Add New, and we have a bunch here. You can see that we have pop-ups, custom templates, and a lot to choose from, but we can see we have custom content slash custom hooks. So let's go ahead and name our hook name, um, Simple Hook, and let's click on Create Content Block. Now it's going to make one up over here for our blocks, and it's going to take us to the block editor. Okay, so it's going to be the same for any theme when you're going to make a custom hook. We're going to be taken to the block editor, and we can insert literally anything from our block inserter here. And let's do something real simple. How about notification? And let's just use the plain one. All right, I got a sticky keyboard. Okay, and we just inserted this and it's kind of hard to read. So it's, it's actually pretty hard to read. So let's go ahead and change out container background to something a bit more legible. And then for our text here, we can change up our typography to something else. And for this one, we can make it solid looking. Okay, and okay, it makes it bigger. And button colors, let's make the button color red because we want people to subscribe. And okay, so that's good. That's gonna be our hook. Now, how do we make it appear or make, uh, change up the display conditions? Okay, so all we're going to do here now is go on the upper right-hand side and click on the Bloxy settings. Okay, and first we have display conditions. Now we can add conditions and click another time. And we can either choose to include or exclude it from where? The entire website, singulars, archives, pages... Um, WooCommerce for products, art product archives, um, custom post types if you have a plugin installed, um, a specific one, and we can we can exclude it or include it for particular authors, uh, post IDs, page IDs, taxonomy IDs, um, for users that are logged in or logged out or specific users, um, time events, and then requests, and we'll just have it on the entire website and if you wanted to let's say display it on the entire website okay and then we can add the advanced mode here and and or ors um, we can also include uh, let's say logged in users only right entire website and user only users that are logged in so let's just display it on the entire website and save those conditions now we have to choose our location and our priority. So we have um, every single location here, uh, headers, footers, custom hooks, and so on. So let's put it after the header and put it as priority number one, because if you had a bunch of other hooks, um, you might want to stack them up and down, okay? And now we can also choose to have a container structure um, the design of our container, right? Whether it's boxed or unboxed, depending on if it's mobile or on desktop. And we can change content area spacing. And we can also preview, um, uh, choose to have a dynamic preview if we so wanted to, okay? We can also add another location, let's say um, footer.
that's on the bottom footer before and that should be fine okay so it's we only have one hook on our website enabled and this one you can probably delete okay and that should be fine okay so once we're happy with all of our settings let's click on update and wait for it to upload and it's done now so let's go ahead and check out our website. There's our header. There's our footer. Let's refresh. And we have a custom hook. Now we can click on X there. And if we scroll down here, we have the same one. Okay. So there's how you make a custom hook for, with Bloxy's content blocks for your Bloxy website. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to our channel as it really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. Show this kind of video to other nerds like us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.